In this video, let's talk about setting up a threshold on a saved report to trigger notification. To do that, first thing I want to do is go to the Admin tab, Definitions, Notification Manager, and make sure that the notification that I want to kick off is in the system. So I can create a new one if I want, or maybe I'll just edit an existing one. So I already have one in here, and I could add another one, right? another uh, notification. You can see um, create a log file, syslog, SNFP trap script, auto acknowledge. So you have some options there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit this one. And you can see that I'm sending a message here based on some variables, host, percent %v, percent %v is the violator address. And I could add notes. Right now I've got notes in there, and then uh, I could say move fast. And I can save this, and once I've done that, now I can go to my saved report, and I can apply that notification to my saved report. So I've already got a whole bunch of saved reports here, so I'm just going to uh, take a look at the saved report. And now that it's saved, when I come in here, I can set a threshold. And I'm going to set a threshold either on the total, which is this value down here, or I can do it per row. So that if any row, right, if I click on that, it goes above a value. But you know, I really don't want to set it based on bits. I want to do something on percent, or maybe something else. Well, you can actually, uh, if you're sorting on packets, for example, now you're setting a threshold uh, based on packet volume, okay? If you want to do it on round trip time or packet loss or jitter, something like that, uh, you can do that as well. You can also, before I set the threshold and say, you know what, this Microsoft DS traffic, I don't want that as part of my threshold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exclude that. So I can exclude certain types of traffic or, or um, include certain types of traffic before I set my threshold. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort on bits. Uh, really want it on percent. So come in here. And yes, I want to save my changes. I want to make sure absolutely that I'm doing the last time frame, like last five minutes, last 50, you know, if I'm going to be displaying this gadget in my uh, one of my dashboards. Uh, so now that I've got that done, let's go ahead and set that threshold. And I'm sorting on my bandwidth column. If I go above, oh, let's say 85%, I'm going to save it. All right, and the notification is going to be, well, multiple options here. Email Mike, of course. And let's save that. Now what I want to do is go up and see all of the reports that have thresholds set on them for notifications. Now there's the one I just created on my saved report. And you can see it has not triggered yet. It's based on the 85% threshold, it's taking about a minute and a half to run each time it executes. So that's pretty good. You know what I really want is this put into a gadget uh, in my dashboard. So I can come up here, and I already did this for you. So you can see that I've already got this in a window. And that allows me to keep a close eye on all of my saved reports that have threshold set. So that's it. It's really pretty simple. And if you have questions, just give us a call, and we'll help you out. Thanks.